the prayer to the Adhisattva Devata of Prayojan Tattva, the deity of Prayojan, the highest goal of our life. It is said, may that Gopinath who initiates, inaugurates the festival of Rasalila by playing his flute beneath Bangsi Bhatt, bestow spiritual auspiciousness, auspiciousness upon us all. So we have heard how Srila Sanatana Goswami discovered Madan Mohan, how Srila Rupa Goswami discovered Sri Govind Dev. And it was here that the disciple of Gadada Pandit, that is Madhu Pandit, discovered Gopinath. One day he was doing bhajan here and Jamuna was flowing and some portion of the uh, bank fell into the river. And he saw partially uncovered in the sand was the ancient deity of Gopinath that was established four and a half thousand years before by Bhajana. So that Gopinath deity, the deity of Prayojan Tattva, Prayin, Prayin Prayojan Tattva is just nearby in the Gopinath temple, we'll go there on another day. So what is the significance of this place? The Srimad Bhagavatam has Panch Pran, five life airs. The Panch Pran of Srimad Bhagavatam is Rasa Panchadhyay, the five chapters describing Rasa Lila. That means if you take out the five chapters of Rasa Lila, then Shima Bhagavatam will die. This pran. Because in that Rasa Lila, the highest glories of Madhurya Rasa and specifically the supreme position of Vrishopanu Nandini Simati Radhika has been the loudly proclaimed as if by the beating of kettle drums. So see Shukadev Goswami part he said Bhagavan Apitaratri Shadutfulla Malika Vikshurantam Manas Chakri Yoga Maya Mupasritaha Even though Krishna is Bhagavan Even though Bhagavan is Atmaram self-satisfied But still Rantam Manas Chakra, he made up his mind. Tonight, I want to enjoy the beautiful romantic pastimes of Rasa Lila. Just like it is said, Atma Ramas Chimuna Yoni Granta Apyur Krame Kurvanta Vitikim Bhaktin Itam Bhutu Gunohari Even great rishis or Atma Ram, self-satisfied, they don't need anything, but still they engage in bhakti to Krishna because Krishna has such wonderful transcendental qualities. So in the same way, Bhagavan Apitaratri, even though Krishna is Bhagavan, he is self-satisfied, but he, he wanted to engage in Raslila because Simati Radhika and the gopis have such wonderful qualities. Mm 
चदौदु राजा ककुबा मुकरा मुकम प्रच्छाविलिंपन अरनी न शंतमाए सकाशनी नम उड़क गत शुको मृजन प्रिया प्रिया या ईवदीर गदाशना शुक्रेव का स्वामी इस वेरी रसिक so he begins to explain this well in a very tender and moving way. He is employing the Samuchchai Alankar. That is, when nature seems to be uh, reflecting the exact mood of the protagonist of this beautiful drama. So he's saying, Tadodu Raja, then, just then, Udaraja, the moon rose in the sky. And with the hands of his soft rays, he was spreading the reddish color across the eastern horizon. And it was taking away the sufferings of all the living beings. Because in the days hot and when the moon rises and it's beautiful, everyone becomes peaceful. So, Priya Priya Ivadira Gadarshana, it was exactly like, if you can imagine, there was one young heroine. And her beloved was far away for a long time. And her heart was pining so much. And finally he came home. And he took red kumkum and smeared it on her face. And now she would feel such great joy. So it was as if this scene was being enacted in nature. That the moon was rising and smearing kumkum on the face of the eastern horizon. See, Krishna thought, I was born in the moon dynasty. So the moon is the, my senior in my parampara. And the eastern horizon, he's a goddess and she's the wife of Indra. So because the, the moon is uh, enjoying a very beautiful meeting after long separation, with uh, Indra's wife, then this is Pargyabha. <laughs> so it's very important that one should follow his parampara. <laughs> so Sri Krishna became inspired. I should also, though Braj Gopis, they've been, marriages have been arranged to others, they only love me. So tonight I must go to the forest and meet with them. And I will smear Radhika's face with Kunku and will feel such joy after long separation. Krishna thought, Chandra Dev is an old person. So if old persons do these romantic things, it's uh, like Rasabas. <laughs> so it's better I should do this now. I'm young. This is appropriate for me. So see, Krishna left his home in the night and in the uh, moonlight. He came here and stood beneath Bhangsibhat. Every word Sukadeva Swami says is saturated with Premaras. He's saying, Nishamya Gitam. The gopis heard the sound of Sri Krishna's flute. Ramana Nanam Navakum Kumarunam 
Balam chatat koma lago biranjitam jago kalam bama drisham mano haram. When Krishna stood here beneath Bangsi Bhat, he saw the beauty of Brindavan. And he was inspired. There are three types of Brindavan. Dham Brindavan, Sri Brindavan, and Sakhi Brindavan. Dham Brindavan means Oh, this forest of Brindavan. Krishna looks at the forest of Vrindavan with the blooming flowers. Seeing the golden champak flowers, he is reminded of the golden complexion of Radhika. Seeing the dark flowing waves of Jamuna, he is reminding of the blue sari of Radhika. Seeing the waterfalls in the forest is reminding of the perspiration running down the body of Radhika. So on one hand, the Dham Brindavan is a forest, but on the other hand, it is the manifestation of the beauty of Radha Swarup. So there is Dham Brindavan, and it is a manifestation of Sri Brindavan, Sri Brindavan, the beauty of Radhika. And Saki Brindavan means Brinda Devi herself, the goddess of the forest who is a Saki. So when see Krishna saw the moonlight shining off the uh, particles of sand on the bank of Jamuna, which were like diamonds, there was a beautiful glow, and he was reminded of the glowing uh, complexion of Radhika. И когда Кришна смотрел, как мерцающий свет Луны отражается на, на песке Емуны, и как э, появляется сияние, такое сверкание подобно алмазам, э, он э, вспомнил э, о... о сиянии лица Радики. Он взял свой флейт. Джаго began to play. И стал играть. Калам means notes which are madur, sweet. And kalam means asput, not clear. Because this flute was the akarshini flute. Hmm? The akarshini flute actually is very choosy. Hmm? When this akarshini flute begins to play, then in Braja, people heard, oh, someone's playing a flute somewhere. But Gopis heard, ah, oh, it's Krishna playing. He's calling us. And Radhika heard, oh, my Praneshwari, oh, Vrindavaneshwari, oh, my beloved, Radhika, please come to me. So Kalam means asput, not clear, because everyone was hearing it in a different way. Jago Kalam, Bamadrisham Manoharam. Bamadrisham means gopis who have beautiful eyes, Manoharam, the flute, stole their hearts. Jago Kalam. Jago means the flute singing, singing, but Jago also means praising. Because see, Krishna took his flute from his belt like this. And as he was raising it to his lips, he said, Oh, my dear friend flute. I always serve you. I hold you in my hand. On my lips. In my belt. 
You always stay with me. Hmm? Sometimes I give you a massage. And something to drink. Hmm? So I'm asking you, please, flute, bunksy, do a favor for me today. Please go and bring all Braja Gopis to me here. So Krishna's flute became a messenger, dut. There are two types of dut. One is called Sandesha Karini. That means one who delivers the message. That one is not so intelligent. They just come. They read the message and they go. But the other one is called Nistrita Dut. And that person not only delivers the message, but will not leave until the order or the request in the message has been fulfilled. So see Krishna is a Chaura Graganya, that means the chief of a band of thieves. So the head of the gang of criminals, he never actually does the criminal activity himself. The leader of the mafia, he stays in his office and his men go and do the crimes. So Krishna is the guru of all thieves. And his flute is a shishya ceremony. First jewel of all his disciples. So that thief, that is the sound of Krishna's flute from Bangsi Bhat, set off to all the villages where gopis were staying. So this thief was very intelligent. <laughs> if you don't do your thievery at the, the right time, obstacles will come. So first of all, the sound of Krishna's flutes, Bainu Nad, Bangsi Nad, did check the Jyotish Shastra. <laughs> and saw that it was a Sharad Punima, very auspicious time for stealing. We will not get any obstacles today. <laughs> and when this thief approached the Braja Gopis, he did not enter through the front door. He went in the side door, the ear. Bang Sinat goes in the ear. And he knew exactly what he was doing. He went straight to the treasury. That is the heart. And in the heart, all the jewels were kept there. What are those jewels? The jewels of a young lady are her ladja, shyness. Daria, patience. Vivek, discrimination. And her chitta. And then that thief grabbed all of those jewels. And quickly ran back to Krishna. Now Krishna was standing here at Bangsi Bhat with holding in his hand the treasures of all gopis, Lajja, Darya, Vivek and Chitras, all hearts of gopis. So, if you're on the street and a pickpocket comes and he steals your wallet and you feel it, then what do you do? Stop and you run after him. So when Braj Gopis held that thief who stole all of their jewels, they got up and they ran after that thief, that Venunad. So Nishanya Gitam Tadananga Vardanun means Nishamya Gita, when Braj Gopis heard that flute. Ni, ni prefix in Sanskrit, he means Ishat, just a little bit. In other words, they didn't have to sit and listen to the whole melody Krishna was playing. Just a few notes was enough to just steal everything. And they went running. <laughs> 
Это означает, что они не сидели долго и не слушали эту мелодию Фейты Кришны. Как только они услышали первые первые ноты, они тут же вскочили и побежали. Не шамми гита. What is the specialty of a gita song? Не шамми гита. Какова особенность слова гита? There's different types of uh, kavya poetry. Есть различные виды кавьи. But that which is called a gita has some special qualities. Но то, что зовется гита, имеет особые качества. So one quality is Atma Vyakti. It expresses the author's own bhav. General poetry expresses so many moods, but not the author's mood. But Krishna's Venu Nad song was expressing Atma Vyakti, his own, so it was called a Geet. And the Geet is Kalatma, full of many different artistic expressions. И также гита калатма, когда полна различных артистичных приемов. And gita kavya is also short, not like the Mahabharata. И также гита кавья, то есть поэзия, песня, она очень короткая, не так как Махабхарата. So nishamya gita, hearing only a little bit of this artistic song, which expressed Krishna's heart, then tadananga vardanam, the influence of ananga, praying, cupid was increased, ananga vardanam. И тогда произошло анангавартанам, то есть услышав совсем чуть-чуть несколько нот этой прекрасной песни, которая выражала, была очень артистичной, выражала настроение самого Кришны, это влияние прямо проснулось в сердце. Only Gopi's bhakti is called Kamatmik Prem. Только настроение любой Gopi называется Kamatmik Prem. When Prem is in the heart, it's called Prem. But when Prem is expressed physically by the entire body, then it's called Gopi's Kam. Gopis have no lust. This is the fullest manifestation of pure Prem. So Nishamya Gitam Tadananga Vardhanam, just hearing a little of the sound of Krishna's flute, then their prayer manifested. They wanted to dance and embrace Krishna. Brajastriya. Brajastriya. Krishna Grihita Manasa. Here Brajastriya. The word Braja means moving. So these three, they are moving from the village to the forest. And Braja means moving emotions also. And Braja means who moves in a group. So Shukadev Goswami is saying, Braja Striya Krishna Grihi Tamanasa and Ajagmo Anyonyam Alakshitud Yama, even though they generally move in a group, Alakshitud Yama, when they left their homes, they were so absorbed in Krishna, they never remembered anyone, and they went one by one, not even seeing each other. И Шукадев на самом деле говорит, несмотря на то, что обычно Раджа Гопи передвигаются группами, то есть здесь они были в таком состоянии, что они бежали по одной, просто они бросили, оставили все дела, и каждый побежал, не видя ничего вокруг и никого другого. Саятра канта джавалола кундалаха, Шукадев Госвами says, and then they arrived here and met with their beloved Krishna. It's very interesting. Shukadev Goswami said, Yatra. If he said Tatra, they arrived Tatra, they arrived there. He said, no, they arrived Yatra here. Meaning that Shukadev Goswami, in his bhav, in his samadhi, being the parrot of Shimati Radrani, had already flown and sat on the banks, on the uh, branch of Bangsi Bhatt. So he's speaking, oh, and then I saw the copies, they're right here. <laughs> this is real Harikata, when the speaker is there in the Leela. Sariyatra Kanto Javalola Kundala and as gopis were running, their earrings were trembling. So don't think it's just because whatever the centripetal force. Everything in the spiritual world is alive. 
Не думайте, что сережки двигались из-за центробежной силы, потому что все в духовном мире живое. So the earrings of the gopis were trembling on the way there. А сережки гопи дрожали по дороге. Because they were thinking. Потому что они думали. If the thief of the see Krishna's song of his flute can so easily steal all the jewels which were kept in the safe of the heart, then how easy it will be for him to steal us the external jewels? So they were trembling with fear. And also, the earrings which were more sacred than those earrings. They were thinking. When the hero and heroine meet, and in their frame sangram, their loving battle, then their necklaces, their bangles, their, all their jewelry gets broken and scattered here and there. So they are trembling out of fear. Oh, when we arrive there, then we'll be broken. So Braj Gopis arrived here. And after a little bit of uh, Bhagavilas, that means the word games Krishna played with the Gopis. Then Sri Krishna began the Rasalila. Mm? Sukadeva Swami has described so beautifully. Padanya isa buja vibuti bi susmita bruvila se madhyan vajja ischal kutpatai kuntlai gandalole sudhyan mukya kabar rasana Grantaya Krishna Vadhu Gayanta Stamta Dita Ivata Mega Chakra Vire Johu He's saying when Krishna played his flute and Braj Gopis began to dance. Then Padan Nyasai, that means they did Padan Nyas, that means placing the feet in very intricate steps. And their arms were uh, taking so many different postures and mudras. Susmita, they were smiling. And the eyebrows were moving. And oh, they were taking the upper cloths in many colors and twirling them around. Their bodies look so beautiful, decorated with perspiration. Krishna Vadho. And they were chanting, Krishna, Krishna. Mega Chakra Rivirejuhu. And because Krishna had many forms and gopis were dancing with each form, each gopi looked like a flash of lightning, trembling upon a beautiful rain cloud. Mm. Krishna is so beautiful, but Krishna became more beautiful being in the company of the gopis. And the gopis became more beautiful when they were loudly singing Harinam Sankirtan. So in the Rasalil, the glories of Nam Sankirtan are prominent. Why did the Shukadev Goswami describe each uh, part of the bodies of gopis one by one? First the feet, then the arms, then the smile, then the eyebrows. Because the most excellent dancer knows how to do the isolation, isolation movements. That means all parts of the body are still and only one part is moving, then another part, then another part. They are the expert dancers. So first, 
Gopi's upper part of body was completely still and the, only the feet are moving. <laughs> and to the rhythms, the Krishna is chanting the rhythms. And then, then the arms, the feet are moving first and everything still and then feet become still and then arms are moving. <laughs> In this way the arms are moving. And then the mouth. Everything becomes still and then the mouth is moving. <laughs> and then the mouth became still, then the eyebrows are moving, dancing. To the same beat. <laughs> and Krishna was watching. Oh, Gopi is dancing so beautifully. <laughs> this is the Rasa Lila. <laughs> that was initiated in Bangsi Bhat. So we pray. At first, each gopi thought that they were the most fortunate person. But because Krishna left them, and also left Radhika. Then the Gopi saw that the separation of Radhika was much higher than theirs. Their separation was like a firefly and Radhika's separation was like a great inferno. So all Braj Gopis became full of sympathy, though they compete with each other when Krishna is there, but in separation they become united. So by this all the groups of Gopis became united in sympathy for Radhika. And when Sri Krishna reappeared, then they did not mind if all will dance around and Radhika will dance with Krishna in the middle. So Sri Krishna has performed this Rasalila oh, to glorify the Prem of Shimati Radha. <laughs> So the Priyojan, the goal of life, there is no higher goal but to become the Dasi of that Shimati Radhika. So your program is successful if you just, if you go home but with one thing, this strong conviction. The goal of life is Radha Dasya. If in this life you don't do anything, but you just do this, this life is successful. After wandering in millions of universes, if you can just be pointing in the right direction, it's a great achievement. Пойдете в правильном направлении, то это будет огромное достижение.